we tell you about the dangers of avalanches. Philip and his friends are going on a ski trip, but they don't just want to stay on the groomed pistes. They also want some fun off-piste. To help them avoid dangers, they have done thorough preparations. Before they hit the slopes, they weigh up the risks. It is vital that everyone answers honestly and that they all take each other's concerns seriously. They are also prepared to take responsibility for one another. Lindsay has seen the good preparation work, but she is still worried. She asks Philip if he knows about accidents and what needs to be done. Philip explains to her that in an emergency, one of them should take command. They need to get an overview of the situation. The most important questions are, firstly, are there any further dangers at present? Secondary accidents should be prevented by all means. Secondly, how many people have been buried? Next, they need to establish a primary search area. This should be below the point where the person disappeared and be around 20 meters wide. Everyone who has not been buried should take their avalanche transceiver and switch to off or receive. They also need to call the emergency services using the North American emergency number 911. They explain what has happened, where they are, and what the weather conditions are like. They also need to stay available in case there are any further questions. Philip knows that every minute counts and that they need to start searching themselves. For people buried in avalanches, every single second makes a difference. Philip's knowledge is enough to reassure Lindsay. Thanks to their great preparation, nothing more can stop them from having an awesome day skiing. <laughs>